Okay, folks, listen. This scene that you're seeing right here is not of the condo collapse. This happened many years ago, I think, in Beirut. And look, it looks like Elvis's head is coming out of the flames and the fire. Anyway, what I'm going to show you in this video is about the condo collapse that happened earlier in Florida this year. Because what you saw uh, on that day was just a predictive programming event that was telling you what is coming to Seattle, okay? You're going to see buildings crumble in Seattle after this catastrophic event, and somehow Elvis manifests on June 11th. And what's interesting is, look, it looks like a snake's head right here. You see this? And the eyes right there, and then this, the head of the snake. It looks like he's swallowing an egg or something. And then you have Elvis right here. <laughs> what the hell is this image? Okay, so what happened is, in Surfside, Florida... On June 24th, this year, at 1.25 in the morning, there was a 12-story building that crumbled, you know, half of it. And they said 98 people was the final, final tally of how many people died. But remember, it happened at the Surfside, just like where the Space Needle is right near the water in, in the Seattle Space Needle. I mean, Seattle. And now I'm going to show you real quick. And by the way, look, it's called the Champlain Tower South because they had a north and a south building. So the north was like a half a block away and nothing happened to it. But the south went down. And notice it's 12 stories, right? And the north tower is also 12 stories. So one and two is three. You know, one plus two is three. And then the South Tower was 12 stories. One plus two is three. That's 33. And you know the towers on 9-11, they fell 33 years after they were built. You, you understand? And the first pilot that crashed into the... The first supposed pilot that crashed into the towers, he was 33 years old. Mohammed Atta. So first, let me show you how this also connects to Trump, okay, before I show you how it connects to June 11th. So the cross streets where this Champlain Towers fell was Collins, Collins Avenue and 88th Street. And you know the 88 is connected to Trump. And I told you that Trump is going to get his head wound on August 4th, 8-4, which is Obama's birthday. And then four days later, he rises from the, from the dead. You know, he's not going to die, Trump. He's just going to go get a head wound and he survives. And somehow on 8-8, he manifests again. I don't know. But so the 88 is for Trump. And in Back to the Future movies, it was all all about the 88. And that movie was, there was a character named Biff Tannen who was based on Trump. Now watch this. So you had the 88 and the other street where it was located on is Collins. Let's see what Collins equals. Look at that. The first number is 84. You see? 84. That's the day Trump gets his head wound. 84. You see that? So this was the address of the place that fell. The Champlain Tower South. 8. It's 8777. 8777. Anyway, it's got the three sevens. The triple sevens. So check this out. You know Trump's birthday is on June 14th, right? And the tower fell on June 24th, right? So if we went from the day that Trump was born, June 14th, 1946, 8,777 days forward, it lands on June 24th, the day the towers fell, the Champlain Tower in Florida. And what was the address? It was 8777. So you're telling me that it lands perfectly on this day from Trump's birthday to June 24th, the day the towers fell. And that's the address, 8777. 
I mean, do you understand how impossible that is what I'm showing you? And do you know what day of the year, June June 24th is on the Julian calendar? Because we're on the Gregorian calendar right now. June 24th on our calendar is June 11th on the Julian calendar. You see that? So what you saw that day when the Florida, in Florida, when that building collapsed, it was a ritual for the June 11th. You see that? June 24th is June 11th. Because I told you that's the day that a catastrophic event is going to happen in Seattle and somehow Elvis manifests. And you know why they love the word towers so much? Okay? Because look, the top number equals 100 and then the backwards is 62. So the total is 162. And 162nd day of the year is June 11th. Okay? You see that? 162 right across. And also the word towers is the same numbers but backwards of the word Elohim. You see that? Elohim is the same numbers as towers but backwards. The 128 was over here and the 6235 was in the back. And during the collapse, there was only one person that actually went through the collapse. Like it actually fell the building and he somehow survived. And he actually got up and walked right out of the rubble pretty much. And it was a guy named Jonah. It was a young 15-year-old, you know, Jonah. You see that? And you know why I'm showing you this Jonah? What I'm going to show you is how Jonah is connected to how Elvis is going to appear out of the sea in Seattle, okay? And in the Bible, they, it talks about Jonah who was swallowed by a, a large fish. We, we're just going to assume it was a whale. And he was in the belly of the whale for three days and three nights, okay? And Jonah was the name of that kid who survived the rubble that fell at the condominium, right? The Jonah. And remember this Joan Rivers? It kind of reminds me of the Joan, and it's got the river, the water reference. And it, it died at eight, 81 years old, and look at it, it was born in 1933. This, you know, supposedly she died. Anyway, 8-1-1-8 is Elvis's birthday, 1-8. But the reason I'm bringing it up, because there's a song called Elvis is Everywhere, which is an incredible song. When I say incredible, I mean just like, <laughs> you got to see it to believe it, the, the lyrics. I'm not going to show it to you here. But in one part of the lyrics, it says right here, yeah, and Elvis is in Joan Rivers, but he's trying to get out, man. He's trying to get out. You understand? It's It's telling you that, He's he's the Jonah character in the river trying to get out. He's going to come out of the pit of the, you know, the sea in Seattle. That's what that means, man. And this was written in 1985, this song or something like that. I'll show this lyrics in another video one day. Because it talks about Michael J. Fox, too. And I told you he was in the Back to the Future movie. Anyway, forget about that. I'll show it all another time. I was just connecting the Jonah name, you know, with the kid who survived the rubble. And then the Joan Rivers character. Then the song where it says Elvis is trying to get out of Joan Rivers. And then what happened on June 11th this year? And this made... Uh, all the local newspaper, I mean, all the local news stations, okay? Even though it didn't happen in my area. This happened in, I don't know, where they had Massachusetts or something. I don't know. Anyway, uh, it happened on June 11th. Look at this story. It says, oh my God, I'm in a whale's mouth. Lobster diver says he was nearly swallowed by a whale off of Cape Cod. But in the story, they were saying that he actually was swallowed. And he was spit out. You see? It's the Jonah tale. 
and look what date it happened. June 11th. You see what I'm saying? Again, a reference, you know, to the to the Seattle 611 date. All right, and Cape Cod is the CC, because Elvis is the CC rider. You know what I mean? That he used to sing that song, CC rider. C out of Seattle. And remember, uh, Trump lit. You know he's he's in Florida. You know his Mar-a-Lago estate, whatever his place. And just remember what I showed you with the address. Just imagine from. From Trump's actual birthday, go forward to June 24th, 8,777 days forward. It lands on that June 24th date. That's an impossibility as a coincidence. You understand? It's the same number as the address. Oh, and I forgot to mention, you know, it's got the word plane in it. You know, like the towers that got hit by a supposed plane on 9-11. So before I show you this last thing, let me just real quick lay the groundwork. So on the Roman calendar, you know, 2000, whatever years ago, I don't know when it was, but August was the sixth month on the Roman calendar. You could read it right there, August, eighth month on the Gregorian calendar, which we're on right now. Its original name was Sextilis, Sextilius or whatever, Latin for sixth month. So August is the sixth month, remember that. So this year, FEMA put out a, an alert that was all over the news, they were talking about that they were going to put a nationwide emergency alert test out on August 11th, okay? And August 11th, I just told you, August, the eighth month, is actually the sixth month on the Roman calendar. So it's so basically they're telling you 6-11, there's going to be an emergency. You see that? Anyway, so look when they put out this alert that's going to come out on August Look what the date was when they put out this message. Look at that. June 11th. Can you believe this? Do you understand? They're giving you... I showed this before on my old channel that got taken down. This is from their website, FEMA.gov. So they put on alert. August is the, you know, is the sixth month on the Roman calendar. So that's 6 11 even though it says August 11th, they're saying 6-11, there's going to be an emergency. Do you get it? And they put out the emergency notice on June 11th? I mean, you've got to be kidding me, man. I told you, folks, I believe next year is the most likely year. I've been saying that since, you know, for the last five years, that 2022 is the year, the most likely year. Anyway, folks. I think that's all I have. If you didn't understand this video, ask me questions in the chat, I mean the comment section, or just rewatch the video. Anyway, folks, end of video.